Hello everyone, welcome to the part 2 of Coral Drug Ultimate Step-by-Step -Step Masterclass. Today, we are going to use the default workspace and let's look at the interface of Coral Draw. So quickly click on the default workspace, it will take you to a new environment and I will be using the default workspace and on the menu that comes up, which is the create new document come options, here you can put your document title and choose your the preset, the document, your default workspace, the number of pages, the page preview, and the color mode. So I'll be switching from this to RGB, so I'll be changing to default workspace. The default workspace will give you a CMYK color, while the RGB will give you a custom workspace. So I, I prefer the CMYK. Then the dimension is going to be later the resolution it's going to be uh, 300 dpi and the orientation is going to be for instance 8 by 8 inches color draw actually work with inches you can switch to different um, formats like pixels or you can switch to points or be using inches and click ok when you open color draw for the first time this is the first interface you will see the first thing I will point out at the right sidebar is called the toolbox. The toolbox provides options for creating and modifying objects. The empty space here is called drawing window. The whole of this area from where this box is is called drawing window. Then inside the drawing window, at the middle of the drawing window, we have what we call drawing page. This area where you have the borderline, the square borderline, is called your printable page. This is the area that will print out whenever you want to print out your document. The drawing window is where all the magic of your creativity is going to take place. You can see you also have a square borderline around the area of your drawing window. The next thing we are going to look at is document tab. So the function of the document tab, it quickly allows you to move between an open document while the document title allows you to, to display the title of your current document. At the right sidebar of your title bar, we have the minimize button, which allows you to minimize coral draw. We also have the maximize button and we also have the close button. And these options allow you to close your coral draw applications. Below the title bar, we also have the menu bar. The menu bar contains pull down menu options. On this training, we are going to treat on the file, the edit, the view menu, the layout menu, the object menu, the effect menu, bitmap menu, text table tools window, and all these tools bar. We are going to treat all in this training one after the other. So at the end of this course, you'll be able to master Corel Draw as a professional. The next bar be below the menu bar is the standard toolbar. The standard toolbar, which appeared by default, contains buttons and controls that are shortcut to many of the menu bar command. For information about customizing the content and appearance of a tool, for instance, you have the new command, which allows you to create a new drawing. We also have the open command which allows you to open an existing drawing. We also have the save command which allows you to save your drawing. We also have choose or open from cloud, allow you to open your an existing coral draw document from cloud. And while they save to cloud, allow you to save your drawing to cloud. We also have print your drawing. It's a command that allows you to print your document. We also have copy by selected. This is a command that allows you to cut your object by selected to clipboard while the copy object allows you to copy a selected object to clipboard. For instance, if I click on cut, you notice that the object has disappeared from my drawing board. But if I click on the paste options here, Ctrl V allows you to paste that copied or cut object. The import command here allows you to import a drawing 
you can import an image you can import an another file you can import a png or jpeg file to your corner draw so if i click on import and then picture and click on import and choose the image and click on import you can see i can quickly import a file to my drawing window you can also export an object to any other format of your choice so you can either export it to png you can export it to jpeg and other format of your choice we look into details when we start drawing on our with coral draw you can as well export your coral draw file to pdf and the zoom command here allow you to zoom your coral draw workspace to different you can zoom in to fit to your your screen you can zoom in and zoom out of your coral draw workspace the next command is a full screen command the shortcut key is is f9 it allow you to preview your drawing on a full screen for instance if i click on it you see it's only the drawing on my window that will be displayed on a full screen while the next options allow you to hide ruler and also show ruler while the next options allow you to show grid and also hide grid on your coral draw environment also have show and hide guideline for instance if i have a guideline this is a guideline i will show you how to bring in this guideline this will allow you to show and also hide guideline also have disable all snapping and these options allow you to disable or turn off snapping on your document if you click it again this will also restore the selected snapping to your corridor so you can snap to create you can snap to guideline for instance if i have a guideline here i select this document i can snap to guideline so if i move this object you notice that it will move and make sure it snap to each of these guidelines so if i see if i move you see you notice it will to snap to the guideline that's the function of the guideline the snap to command enable or disable automatic alignment so what it does it allows you to align your document to create to best baseline create guideline object or page so you can quickly use the snap to to align your object to document create to baseline create to guideline object or your current page and the next option is the options and this allow you to open coral draw settings so if you click on it it has a different options that will display dialog box which will go into details and the last options on your standard property bar is the launch property and this allow you to launch other coral draw programs like the coral draw barcode wizard coral draw capture coral draw design and coral draw photo paint so if i click on it it automatically launch that software below the standard bar is the property bar so if i pull up this you can quickly see the property bar has disappeared so let me quickly move the property bar this property bar is a detachable bar which has command that is related to the active tools and the text property bar display commands for creating and editing text so you can see to detach it is quickly remove it right click and on an empty environment right click and say property bar so you can see it's a detachable bar that helps to display command that is related to active tools for instance if i pick an object and draw on the property bar will be highlighted and it will give me options to related to to that active tools that i i created the same thing applicable to when i click on the text it will give me options to text to bold to italize and all the rest the next options we are going to look at is the docker the docker display tags and tools related to control such as command button options and list of bugs for modifying a drawing so this will look into details when we start using coral draw so on the right side you can add as multiple docker on your coral draw environment you can add transforming tools you can add page to your docker bar so we'll get into details when we start using coral draw and you can as well bring it back so we'll go into details 
when we start drawing using Goro Draw. The next option we are going to look at is your ruler. We have the horizontal ruler and we also have the vertical ruler. This mark off in unit and is used to determine the size and the position of your object. So the ruler is marked in unit and is used to determine the size and the position of your object. For instance, I have the size so you can quickly see it will be able to mark the positions and the size of my object. So if I pick in a guideline to this, you can be able to see where and the position of my object and also the size of my object. The next options we are going to look at is the document palette. Here is your document palette. This white space here is also a detachable bar that you can that it can easily be detached. It contains color switch for a current document. So whenever you choose a color in Corel Draw, for instance, the color will automatically appear on your document palette. The next options we are going to look at is the document navigator. This is your document navigator. If we have up to two page, what it does, it allow you to navigate. The document navigator provide control for managing your page. It allow you to switch between a page. Uh, let's assume we have up to page four in this coral draw file. So you can be able to navigate or move between each of these space using the document navigator and on the document navigator you can as well add a new page to your document you can add as multiple page you can see we are on page six so if i click on the plus icon here using my left click it will add as many as many pages you want to add the next options we are going to look at at the right side of our interface is the color palette this help to display the color different types of color that we will be using for our drawing so if i pick in a color you can quickly click on it to switch to different color on our color draw interface before the color palette we also have the horizontal scroll and we also have the vertical scroll this allow you to scroll horizontally and this also allow you to scroll vertically on your document environment then the next options we are going to look at now is your status bar the status bar display options the position and the property of an object such as the object type the size of the object the color the field the resolution of the object for instance if i click on the square this object here you can see it display the type of this object rectangular shape it also display the color of this object the last option at the extreme is your uh, document color settings which allow you to choose your document color settings uh, these are part of the status bar which allow you to view your course coordinator and this also allow you to view object details so you can see the height of your object and the width of your object and the object is at the center so you can quickly align the object if i move so you can quickly see the size of this object this is on the status bar so the two inch actually shows the basic basically all the tools and the shortcut key that you can quickly use to get to take an actions on a, on the job on the right side here allow you to choose your color your view color and this allow you to add an outline color to your drawing so we'll be going to details when we start designing the next option is the sign in options which allow you to sign into your coral draw account and that's all for the interface of coral draw the next class we're going to look at the toolbar and their functions and how you can be able to use the toolbar to achieve your desired aim thank you for watching see you in the next class